So, we got an official look of the gameplay of Saints Row 2022. Well, two minutes of it. Um, this confused other Saints Row content creators. For example, um, RPG gameplay, Flippy, and Mr. Saints Godzilla. Why do I confuse you, may I ask? Well, because last week they got a, um exclusive look at 14 minutes worth of gameplay which showed off the activities, the map, the rin suit, which we haven't heard that much about, but we've had like a like um the actual I think the actress one of the voice actors for the boss um confirms like the main one confirmed that there was a win suit in the game uh, and they also showed off the customization and the customize the city feature. But when they released to the public last Friday was stripped down for content and instead we got this woman talking to us about the game and that Kevin isn't wearing a shirt, which yeah, interesting enough. But whoever is doing the marketing at Volition, well, he's doing a horrible job because it just feels like they want the game to fail. And honestly, it's just gone dog shit from there. But literally, all we know about characters is that they want to join the Fog Life. I say Fog Life. I mean Fog Life. Just because they need to pay, pay off student loans. But to be honest with you, I don't even know what the game's about. But weirdly, that just puts me off the storyline. Student loans. Bloody hell, like the, 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 like the only reason I liked Saints Row was because of the characters and the storyline. But now you're telling me in this movie we're playing as college kids, playing as college kids who just want to be a part of start a gang, just feel like they're part of the community. But like, come on now. In the original games, right, the only reason the Saints were formed was because well, Benjamin Keen and Julius Little, I'm gonna back go and look nerd thing, nerd went right here. But they were like they started the gang because of Los Canales. We're taking over Stillwater, so, I mean, where they lived, grew up Sunnyvale Gardens, so they started the Vice Kings, and then they got too powerful and went to shit. So Julius went off to Saints Row, started his own gang, Third Street Saints, and he was like, listen here, I'm killing all these lot. And, and then for some reason, you, you come along and just end all the other gangs. But, uh, this could, like, honestly, right, this storyline that they, they're, what we heard, like, what they're telling us about student loans, it could work. Like, it could be, it could work in it, um, one way, and I think there's one way that this story could work. It, like, this story needs to turn dark, and what I mean by dark is that, like, they need to go through some shit which, like, humbles them and shows them out, like, this fuck life's way dangerous than they think, and that, like, they're way in over their heads, maybe. Just, like, maybe, like, how one of them die, maybe just make you realise that, oh shit, what we're doing is. Not as fun as it seems. Like that bit, that obviously being hit, like influenced by something in the game. We're thinking, oh look, this is fun. But they seem more powerful than that. And then maybe they go through some dark shit in the game, which humbles them. And then maybe by the end of it, you know, they come back as gangsters. You know what I mean? At the end, like remember, Village Knife have confirmed this is an origin story, so they need to market that. They need to tell the fans that instead of putting it on Twitter, like not everyone follows the Twitter. You know what I mean? They they just go and they go on the Instagram account and they just. Look at the story and see, um, like what I see. And now only on Instagram, all you see is just the gameplay or two, the two minute gameplay video, and the tr the CG trailer, which is doing shit, by the way. Uh, pardon me. Um, but yeah, or like honestly, this this is the problem. They're, they're putting it on a Twitter, which like not probably not many people see or use. They're probably only looking at the trailers that they get on YouTube. So they need like, but um. Just at this point, no, they're just, right, right now, right, they're just confusing the fans and leaving them in the dark. So we do not know anything about the characters besides how they dress. That's what I've been waffling about, though. But what I think we need to do is just go back to the drawing boards to think about how they can fix uh, this poor marketing. But I think the only way that this could pos the game could possibly be saved is to so make a video where Dev shows us gameplay like they did with Saints Row 3. And like maybe a story trailer so that we can get a better understanding of the characters and what, um, like why they want to be criminals if you get me but uh they need to be faster off rice this what happened with Aaron remember what happened there the game went to shit and it was all the marketing sort because it was marketed to be a sense world game or like a sense world game not to be one until they had to say well publicly that it isn't a sense world game but and if this game fails well volition uh, could get liquidated meaning they will never we will never get another sense world game unless the rights were sold to a different studio which could be way worse for the series no Worse for the series, you know, new new company. They probably don't. They probably won't even. It'll probably be a different game entirely. It would probably be like 
you know, it would probably still be a free roaming game, but it won't be the same style as a Volition game. I mean, this would be like, think of like the Sly Cooper games. All right, so, the first three games, they're all done in dust, dusted white, and then it's like, well, we're done. And then Sensu, Zan, Zanzaru, the um, company, they bought it, remastered it, and they made, announced the fourth game, and then the fourth game was complete, it was like, it, it was like the other games, but completely different in story feel, you know, like animation and all that, just different look. It's just, it it feels like more of a reboot, like if, if it goes with a different studio. But I'll be making more videos, um, you know, uh, this to this has been a really trending topic and I, I just need to get my word out. I've been taking too many breaks and uploads are going to be short. I'm back at school now, uh, which is shit. So, yeah, um, my next video uh, is probably just going to be another like, really good video. I just need to pump these videos out, you know. But, yeah, thank you for watching and goodbye.